Hello guys, as you can see, today we are going to learn some formula about relay and protection. These are the four formulas, four basic formula, which I find difficult to learn because I don't know how to use them. So today we are going to, to solve one question, only one question using all these formulas and learn how to use them. So let's start with pickup current of relay IPK which is equal to percentage setting of relay into CT secondary current. Okay, so usually I think what is CT secondary current or what we have to do. So everything is there and I'm going to answer everything in the question. And now the PSM plug setting multiplier which is IF upon IPK into CT ratio where IF is fault current. Then time of operation of any relay is equal to T0 is equal to TMS which is time multiplier setting into time calculated from IDMT graph or table corresponding to PSM. Now what is this? This was very difficult for me to understand but we will see everything in the question. Now time of operation of backup relay TB which is equal to time of operation of primary relay TP plus the delay time, time delay between primary and backup relay. This was the easiest one. So now let's move to the question and learn how to use these formula. Okay so this is the question which we are going to do and this will solve all the problems in understanding those formula. So let's start. Part of the power system network is shown in this figure. The primary relay R1 has TMS value 0 0.3. Its TMS value is 0 0.3. The time delay between R1 and R2 means primary and backup relay TD is 0 0.6 second. Both of the relay have CT ratio as 500 to 5 amperes. The IDMT character is given in the table for R1 R2. Now this is, was the character which we were unable to understand. And, and I will show you how to use this. You have to calculate the time of operation of primary relay T0 and TMS for backup relay. So let's start this. So now we'll start with the pickup current, which was our first formula, which is equal to percentage setting of relay. So for R1, percentage setting of relay is 125%. So 125 by 100 into CT secondary current. So by secondary current, this means this 5 ampere. So this value is 6.25 ampere. And now the PSM plug setting multiplier. According to the formula, it was IF into IPK into CT ratio, which is equal to now fault current. So this is our fault current, 5 kilo ampere, which is 5000 ampere into pickup current, which is 6.25. And now CT ratio, which is 500 upon 5, which is equal to 8. So now T0 is equal to TMS time multiplier setting into time from IDMT graph or table. In our case, it is table corresponding to PSM, which in our case is 8. So T0 is equal to TMS was given 0 0.3 into PSM, which is 8. See this. 8 is written in two places. Don't take this one. We have to see PSM 8 which is this. And now we take this time 4 seconds which is equal to 1.2 seconds. So time of, of operation of primary relay is equal to 1.2 seconds. And now we have to find TMS of backup relay. Okay, so we know that the time of operation of backup relay is equal to time of operation of primary relay T0 plus the delay which is 1.2 plus 0.6 so 1.8 second and now again we will find pickup current and now this is for 
R2. Percentage setting of relay. So percentage relay for R2 is 175 by 100 into, into CT secondary current which is again 5 ampere. So it is 8.75 ampere. And now we are going to find PSM which is fault current. Fault current is 5000 upon pickup current which is 8.75 ampere into CT ratio which is 500 upon 5. So PSM is equal to 5.7. So now time of operation T0 which is 1.8 second is equal to TMS into time calculated from IDMT graph corresponding to PSM 5.7. So now PSM 5.7 is this and now we are going to take time as 5. So TMS into 5. Therefore TMS is equal to 1.8 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.36. So TMS for backup relay is equal to 0 0.36. So this was a single question which used all the formula and uh, I guess all formula is clear to you as it is to me. Thank you.